Oh my god folks, ChatGPT can now be used within Excel. Who doesn't want to ask a silly question to ChatGPT? But what I want to show you is the real use cases that you can use at work. For example, you can transform this unstructured data to a table like this. Insane, right? Let's go and check it out. Let's go get the ChatGPT add-in. So insert, add-ins. Here you will type ChatGPT for Excel, this one. Make sure you select the right one. Let's click on add. You will get it on the right window and usually it will appear under home. Now, if Excel is playing tricks with us and you don't see it, you just go to insert again, add ins, and you do the same thing a second time. So chat GPT for Excel, you click on add and it will come here. Now, if this window is closed, you just click on the add in and it will open. And here you will have all the functions that you can use. Now you will probably need to log in. It's very straightforward. I'm not going to do it here. And you will get a free account. The free account is okay for a demo, for trying it out. But if you are really serious in using it, you should pay for an account. You can see here, I have a starter plan. I have $3 in credits. So the price per 1 million token is between 0.5 and 1.5. And if you click here on the briefcase, you will see the plans. So usually the plan that I'm using right now is $8 per month. You will get those credits and you can add more credits if you want to. Now enough of the formalities. Let's go for our fun activity. I know a lot of you, you love to ask random questions to chat GPT. Well, here you can do it. It's going to cost you a little bit of money. It's not that expensive, but it's fun. The first question I'm going to ask is give me the name of five famous India breads. So I'm just going to do equal ai.ask. Once you have this utility, you can use this formula. Open parenthesis. You need a prompt. So the prompt is actually this. You can also type the prompt here between double quotations. So here will be your prompt. And then this is your double quotation to close it. Very simple. It works like an Excel formula. I'm just going to select the question, close parenthesis, press enter. So it's busy. It wants me to accept the privacy policy, etc. Let's do it. There you go. You get some of them. I'm just going to open it to see. You have naan, roti, paratha, puri, chapati. If you are from India, you have to tell me whether this is correct. Let's go for the second question. Something more business-like. I need an email to ask my boss to approve my vacation plan. Equal AI.ask. Let's see what we get. We select the cell. Close parenthesis, press enter. There you go. This is the email. Let's see what we get. Dear boss, I hope this email finds you well. I am writing to formally request, blah, blah, blah. You can see it's a nice email. We copy paste it. Our job is done. Finally, if you are interested about Excel, you can ask about how to write a formula in Excel. So we're going to do AI.ask. I want a formula that counts values above 300. Let's see. You can use the count a formula. And if we just expand this, this is the formula that I can use. I just have to replace the range with the range that I have in my Excel sheet. If you like this preview, let's go for the next one because I'm sure you're going to like it even more. Here, I want Excel to fill this. So I have a tagline. For example, for ChatGPT, I have this tagline. For Salesforce CRM, I have get the best out of your CRM platform. And I want a little bit of creativity. So here I can use AI.fill, open parenthesis. I need to give it examples. So my examples are actually here. I'm just going to select them. Then I can use comma. I need the partial. Partial is actually where I have my other data points. So those are the data points I want ChatGPT to work on. Close parenthesis, press enter. It's busy. Let's see if it will give me the right answers. Yes, it does. For example, Facebook, stay connected with friends and family all over the world and so on. This is insane, right? You can get so many things done in seconds. Here, for example, I have United States. I have the region and the currency. So I can do the same just to show you AI.fill, open parenthesis. These are my examples, comma. Then we need the other countries, close parenthesis, press enter. I even gave some difficult countries like Tajikistan and it still recognizes and does everything for me. So now, for example, if you have the countries, you want to use this in your accounting report, you can use it very easily. Let's go to AI.extract. So here, for example, I want to separate first name and last name. For this, usually you use flash fill. Let me show you. So for example, if I type here Jack and here I start writing Emily, 
you will see that we get Bob and Sam, press enter and we get them. You can do the same for the family name. So you give it an example and then you start typing the second one, press enter, you get it. The problem is if I have something complicated, you can see here I have some text and each one has written their name within the text, also the email. And it's very difficult to extract because if I try, for example, Jack and I write here, Emily, nothing happens because Excel is not able to recognize it. So what I can do is equal AI dot extract open parenthesis for value. I'm going to take this comma for extract. I'm going to put name in double quotations. So I'm telling chat GPT to extract the name. Let's press enter. You can see this is Jack Sparrow and I didn't say first name, for example, I just extracted the full name here. If I want to extract the email, let's just double click. We can do the same equal AI dot extract open parenthesis. This is the value comma. I want email. So I'm telling it in plain English that I want emails. You can try, for example, with company names, other things. It will extract everything. Look at this. I don't even have Gmail, I have .io, it recognizes it and it gives me everything in seconds. Let's go for this one, table. So here I have, for example, an unstructured data, super ugly data. I need to get all this from this data, the name, the law firm, location and description. So what do I do? I can use AI.table. And again, you can use AI.table for anything. You can ask it, for example, I want the 10 top most populated countries, it will give it to you. So AI.table, this is the one, open parenthesis, my prompt is here, display car accident lawyers, comma, the headers are those, so I'm just going to select them, comma, and then I need to select my data. You can see the source here, so I'm just going to select this, go down, I have a lot of them, it is insane. There we go. Close parenthesis, press enter, and the magic happens. You can see, for example, the first one, this is the name. It doesn't even tell that it's a name. It recognizes it automatically. Then we have the law firm. It is just below. You can have where it is in Dallas, Texas, and you have a short description that it just took from this data point. Same thing for the second one, fears, law, and so on. You can see it here. Insane, right? Now let's go for AI.choice and this would be very important for you, for example, when you do sentiment analysis. So let's try it out. Here I have positive, neutral and negative and I have some reviews. This is a positive one, very happy. Bad customer service, it's a negative one. And I don't like what I saw from you guys, it's a negative one. Let's try it out. Equal AI.choice, open parenthesis. What is my value? This is my value, comma. What are my choices? They are here. I can give it any choices I want. Let's use F4 because we're going to drag the formula. So you have the dollar signs. Close parenthesis, press enter. This is the first one positive. We just double click like a normal formula and you get the two negatives. Now you can do it for anything. For example, here I have options like event promotion, customer review and social media. Let's do the same. Equal AI dot choice, open parenthesis. This is my value comma, choices, those are my choices. You can have more than three, obviously. F4, close parenthesis, press enter. This is a customer review. Then you double click. Here it's an event, a conference, and you have subscribed to my channel, social media. Let's go for AI.translate. And here I have three languages. Let's do something fancy. So we're gonna add data validation. We go to data. This is my data validation. Let's take a list. Click here, this is my source. And here I'm just gonna press OK. Let's select one language. For example, this is French. And I'm gonna go here, equal AI.translate. We need the value, comma, we need the language. We're gonna pick it from here, close parenthesis. So this is in French. If you want it in Japanese, I just select Japanese and it will automatically refresh. Be careful because every time you play, you're going to have a cost associated with it. Let's go for AI.list, which is the final one. So here I can generate a list of things. For example, I want to get the top 10 best companies to work for in the USA. So equal AI.list, open parenthesis. This is my prompt, close parenthesis. 
as simple as this and you get the top 10 companies to work for.